Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Yes, this is a master bedroom in a tiny house. Simple. But as you know from watching the videos of the rest of the house, that's not really a big surprise. I like things nice and clean and straight. This room um, is nine and a half. And then it's a full um, 11 foot wide with the trailer. The ceilings back here are 11 foot tall and they have that beautiful wood on them. Got a mini split in here. Yes, we have fire alarms. As you can see over here, beautiful picture, lovely door. Picture actually covers the electrical panel. Um, just so happened that we had that. <laughs> I also had the picture, our view going out, which we don't really see, but we get that morning sunshine, but it's not in our face. So it lights up the room, but we're not glaring at the sun, which is really nice. Nightstands, we've had a big debate for six months over the nightstands. The original intent was to have cabinets built, um, built-in cabinets along the side of the bed there, and then kind of a built-in nightstand on the bottom. But as we lived in here, we found out that we have plenty of storage, so it's not really needed. Um, and I like that clean look, and I wanted to keep it as clean as possible. But one of the things that drove us the craziest was figuring out how to get everything plugged in. So we had cords strung out. Some of you have probably seen pictures of this. So we did some investigating. We came up with these nightstands. They fit the space next to the bed. However, because of the how the bed was made, you couldn't slide them all the way back. So we decided to have them kind of custom. <laughs> So we ordered the nightstands, and as you can see, he added a piece of wood in the back that sits there so that you have extra space on top of the nightstands. And then he mounted them to the wall. There's also a plug-in behind all of this. So you can see my little conglomerate of a mess here. We have a computer, we have an iPad, an iPad, headphones, a watch, and a phone, of course. That's a lot of cords. I hate cords. I like things nice and simple. And that little box that you can see there, I'll show you his on the other side. It came from Amazon. Do it. <laughs> if you have 10 things plugged in at night, that makes it so much simpler. You can also see in the corner here where the black cord goes down. He put a hole back there. So that is where the electrical, the actual power for the box goes back down um, into the wall, plugs in. All of it's hidden. It's nice and clean. The nightstands are actually open. And he added a couple pieces in the back there again to make sure that it fit. And it looks like it was supposed to be there and it was. We still have a little bit of trim on the bottom to use. I'm gonna show you it on his side as well. He didn't have all this stuff plugged in. He's already gone. Those little boxes are great. Keeps everything nice and neat and tidy. So a little history about the bed. This is from a barn back east. <clears throat> Excuse me. A barn back east. And it is chestnut wood, and it is old. And I can't tell you how old, but I know it's really old. Um, we actually had a place here locally mill the wood for us. And he made this about seven years ago, I think it was. And it's a, a beautiful headboard. He took a post and split it in half, and then we took another two posts, I believe, and then just slabbed them out. So the mortise and tendon joint that you see that looks like a cross he didn't put that in there. That's just how it came out. So we stained it. And I think it looks really good in here with everything else. It's a queen size bed. 
full queen size bed. We could make storage underneath of it if we needed to. We really haven't needed to, so we just haven't done that yet. I will put some links in the description for these um, nightstands, and I will also do the same thing for the boxes that we got off of Amazon. They're really nice for organizing everything. But this room is just, it's nice and quaint. We love it. Favorite spot. I'm also gonna give you a little quick peek what we wake up to every day. That's what we see every day. We got a few clouds this morning. Those are beautiful mountains. Yes, we have a totem pole, long story. Just a wonderful space, peaceful. Birds singing every morning. So one more shot. If you guys like these videos, please give us a thumbs up. If you subscribe, if you'd like to subscribe, please do. Um, you'll be the first to be notified when Christy actually gets around to posting another video. We've done a few changes in the living room, a couple more to come. So the next one, I will show you all the changes that we've made in there. It's kind of fun. Stay tuned, everybody. Thank you so much for following. Have a great day.